What's going on guys? We are at NRA 2024 here in Dallas, Texas. We are in the Olight booth. This is the last day of the show, but we grabbed Don Such right here, one of my favorite YouTubers to uh, sit down with us and, and talk for a minute about the show. Man, yeah. I mean, it's been a great show. NRA is a lot of fun. Uh, and this is your first time, isn't it, to be at NRA as far as a booth? Yeah, our first booth at NRA. And yeah. it's been hugely successful. If you guys can see, I mean, how many people are in this booth compared to even other booths. It's, I mean, there's a lot of excitement. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. And we, uh, we released a lot of products this time around. We did a big keynote event on Friday, and um, we released the O-Site. Yeah, right? that's, that is very exciting. Yeah, what do you think about it? Absolutely love it. Of course, you know, I, I had some input in it and then um, had the light, did a lot of shooting with it. Love the large window. Uh, I love the recharging capability. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, there's nothing like it. And so there's, uh, and you guys have already sold out, didn't you? The first initial. We sold out on the website. Yeah. yeah. In like half a day, less than half a day, like yeah. 10 hours, something like that. Yeah. I mean, and for the price. It's, yeah. I mean, guys, just for the price itself, it, it, it's worth. It's got but, a lifetime warranty. Right. So it's like you can spend 200 bucks on a red dot with a charging case and you can use it forever. You know, it's, right. it's, it's wild. Well, it has 50,000 hours of battery life yeah. when you charge it and then, then you can get additional. Exactly. And that, that's what's really cool. I mean, yeah. I love it. It's got the 70,000 hours on just the, uh, the dot. And then the case can charge it up three times yeah. without having to charge the case. You know, one yeah. thing that uh, in a lot of lights, a lot of different um, weapons lights, you know, when I pick them up, you know, maybe my bedside light or I, or I go to the range with a red dot on it. And typically they, they do run, but sometimes, a number of times, I've picked them up and went, no dot. Right. You know, and in a critical situation, so it makes me nervous a little bit sometimes, and I want to go, okay, is my dot working? Right. With this, you know it's charged. You know where it's charged. Yeah. You know the amount of power. It's got the shake to wake, um, so you don't have to worry about that. It'll just turn on immediately. Uh, turns off automatically after 10 minutes, um, so conserves battery life as well with that. And the window is like a square inch, almost a square inch. You know, it's if you're, huge. If you're having issues finding a dot, because a lot of times, you know, there, there's some short windows. Right. It makes it a little more, um, you know, lower profile on your handgun, but right. it gives this little window. Right. And when you bring that red dot up, sometimes, especially guys that are just getting started, uh, they, they can't find the dot. Right. And so this allows them to be able to immediately, I mean, I really tried picking it up, yeah. seeing if I could miss the dot, and right. it was there. Right. Yeah, it's a huge window, guys, and it's really clear. That was one of the things that we kept working on. We got some prototypes and there was like a little bluish tint or some of that like parallax effect on the outside. And so we kept working on it again and again and again. And now it's one of the clearest glasses you can get on a red dot today. Yeah, in fact, I, I took it uh, during my review. I, I took it out and I went across the yard with some different sites, but that one, I mean, it was, when I moved it across the colors, it just stayed the, the same color. I, there was right. very little difference. Right. And some of them are a little cloudy, some of the competitors and stuff like that. So it's, it's good to see how clear this is compared to what else is out there. Yeah. Well, you know, so. there, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of budget optics out there, and that's great. I mean, because some people, you know, they need to, they want to get into the market. Sure. Uh, and, but really, for what you're getting, it's top quality. Yeah. So you're getting sure. right out of the gate, just really top quality. Nice. Did you check out the, the Peel Mini 3? Uh, yes, I did check out the PL Mini 3, and um, that that light, I mean, the adaptability with the battery, you know, being able to, to insert the battery, you can keep an extra battery charged, it comes with an extra battery. Right. It fits on almost any uh, handgun, no matter how small it is, it, and it's a smaller profile. Right. And you're still getting 600 lumens. Right. So, I mean, it's, and then you've got your additional mounts. Sure. Yeah, the 43X, the MOS mount is is awesome. Actually, uh, Shadow Systems is like right over there, their booth, and they have their kind of their own version of the 43X MOS, and it just shows that you know there's there's so many different variants of that one frame size, and it's great that we have a mount for that. And then the P365 is one of the most popular carries ever, right? Um, and we have the mount for that now too. And the Hellcat. So, 
Yeah. yeah. See the Hellcat and we have the Hellcat there. adapter the Hellcat too. Now. So and those it, are like the top three carry guns right, right now. The right. P365, uh, 43X, MOS, and the Hellcat. Right. Those are like best selling guns right now. And it gives you that right there. Doesn't add a lot of bulk to your handgun. Fully yeah. adjustable no matter how you want to set it up. Sure. I, I've been a big fan of the P, the P, I mean, or the Baldor series. Yeah. Both. I mean, that, that small size has been just, it just fits any gun. Right. Even larger guns. You know, it doesn't, it gives it a lower, a, a smaller footprint. Right. And uh, so I, I really love it. Yeah, those new mounts work with the Balder, well, the Balder S right. uh, works with that one. Um, those new mounts work with any of the adjustable rail lights that we have. But even with the paddle mount, the original paddle mount, I mean, it worked. I mean, we've done torture tests on them. Yeah. You know, and they do. But um, just good to see more choices. Right, right. There's, what, four or five? different mounts that you can use yeah. <laughs> with the adjustable rail lights so and if you don't like the paddle you know because some people are afraid they may hit something so you've got the screw mount screw which, now which yeah. is just you know gives you a lot more security right on cool so when you're going through the zombie apocalypse man you're set yeah you're ready to go <laughs> you're ready to go <laughs> well so, let's talk yeah. about the odin the odin yeah the odin s is yeah. really cool um 1500 lumens it's got the new mounting bracket that is like machined on the body. Right. So now you don't have the mount screwed into the light, so it can't break off. Right. It's just like not possible to break off. And it was strong before, you know, we've done we've done tests with it as well, but that gives you that redundancy, it gives you just really a super strong system. Right. But what I'm most excited about is that mount and then you screw it instead of just the magnetic. Right. Instead of just the clip to strengthen it, you've got that twist. Yeah. So it just gives you extra capability, and yet it's easy to pull off. Right. Yeah, the remote switch is way better. Um, with that twist to lock, you just can't knock it off. It's just not possible. Um, so I'm really glad about that. It takes two CRs now ah, instead yeah. of just an 18650, so that's pretty good too. That's right, the sleeve where you can adjust it. Yeah. Um, trying to think what else does it have. Uh, it's it's just a cool. new total reflector lens. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the, uh, the hot spot is perfect. It's got a good spill to it so you can see around. Right, um, which is important. You know, yeah. a lot of times you have a light that'll reach way out, but then that's all you see yeah. is that. And you you don't know anything else going on around it. Right. So that, that spill on the outside is definitely a big plus. What I was trying to think of before was the potted electronics. Oh. I was like, I was like, ah, I'm missing something, I'm missing something. So, uh, so now the, the PCB board, I call it the brain of the flashlight, um, is now fully sealed. So that way nothing can break off, all those little uh, components that are on there, nothing can happen if you drop it or right. heavy recoil. Or well, it's whatever. just like those little boards, you know, you have a little wire sometimes that come up, they can become attached. But that process just, it's almost like some kind of clear polymer yeah. uh, resin that kind of locks is. that in. Right, And right. It, it really makes, it. but the thing is, is over the years testing uh, Olight flashlights, because I like to, you know, as far as testing the, uh, the durability, and with Olight, uh, they just hold up. Right. Now, you're getting even more secure and, and, and getting those small little chances of something going on. Right. Really makes it nice. Yeah, so the, the pot of electronics, it's, it definitely helps with the heavy recoil. It makes sure that nothing can become loose. It might not come loose in the first couple hundred rounds, but, but you know, once you're doing thousands and thousands of rounds, you know, that heavy recoil again and again, it could potentially affect, you know, what's going sure. on inside the light. And especially so, when you up the up the calibers. Right. You know, if you want something, because, you know, it does get out to distance, so you might have something that, you know, and, it, and it's functional on a lot of different platforms, different type right. rifles. Right. Yeah. Um, Pot Electronics, really good. It's also on the PL Mini 3. This is right. right. And uh, we're going to do that on all future weapon lights, as far as I know. Um, so that's just a new thing that we do as a company. Right. Um, Every single light has to have the PCB board, it has to have the electronics in it, so if it has electronics inside of it, we can seal it up right. and do the pilot electronics, so we're just going to do that now. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, so there we have it, guys. NRA 2024, hanging out in the booth. We literally just pulled him in here and was like, sit down. We're turning the camera on, well, you know, and here we are. It's one of those things we don't <laughs> even have to prepare for because yeah. we know, you know, we know what's the, the light systems and and, and of course, you and I, we've known each other forever, yeah. at least 12, 12 years at least. A long time. 13 long time. years. And um, these guys are just doing a great job. Um, I have a lot of choices 
with the lights I deal with. Sure. And I, and I have a number of different lights. Yeah. But what I depend on is so light. Right. I got one in my pocket right now. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, did. I got this one. They put the Texas 2024 NRA lasering on there. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. And then I have a, a one as well, but it's a secret. And that'll be coming out. That's a out. secret. And this I need one of those, out. by the way. Come on. This one's coming out next month. Yeah. We, got a, we got a special edition. There you so, go. Uh, we're excited to give you a little teaser. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I get that one, I'm carrying it every day. So. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. NRA 2024, the man, Don Such, here hanging out with us. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.